Today we're going to learn how to break up the major scale into useful chunks to create tension and release in your solos. Stay tuned. All right, so we've already learned how uh, adjacent pentatonic and adjacent triads uh, can be used to sort of cull the embellishment notes and the chord tones from the major scale so that we can use them independently. The chord tones obviously sit with the chord the way we expect, and embellishment tones, while they don't change the quality of the chord, they do sort of add a certain spice and, and a certain amount of tension, which we can use to create a nice up and down tension release flow in our solos or even rhythm patterns. What we talked about before is using the two and the three triad in, the, in whatever key we might be talking about um, because the two uh, triad is composed of entirely um, embellishment tones for the one and the three triad is composed of entirely chord tones for the one. And if we bring that up a step and talk about the pentatonic scales, the two pentatonic scale um, has, again, the two triads, so embellishment tones, plus two chord tones, the four and the flat seven that we miss um, in just the triad and is added in the minor pentatonic um, is the one and five for the one, for the one chord. Um, similarly, the three chord has what we expect, the, the one flat three five of the three chord is chord tones for the one, and the four and flat seven are embellishment tones for the one. So the two pentatonic scale has um, mostly embellishment tones and a, a couple of chord tones, and the three pentatonic scale has mostly chord tones and a couple of embellishment tones. We can see that, and we'll use A like normal because it's in the middle of the fretboard, right? So there's our A major chord, and here's our B minor pentatonic, the two chord. We know that shape, and we know the three minor pentatonic. This will be a C sharp minor pentatonic. So that's going to be mostly chord tones and a couple of embellishment tones, and then the A is mostly embellishment tones and a couple of chord tones. But it gets kind of wonky if we play all three of those major pentatonics, A major pentatonic, B minor pentatonic, and C sharp minor pentatonic in those positions that are right over the root. So now I've got to switch positions to go to the B minor pentatonic. And I've got to switch positions again to go to the C sharp minor pentatonic. The reality is we have the ability to play each one of those scales in the same position. So if we look at the A major pentatonic, right, box five of the B minor pentatonic is in the same spot. So with just a little bit of alteration in what we're playing, we can move to mostly embellishment tones and a couple of chord tones, right? And then the C sharp minor pentatonic box four is also in the same spot. Right? So again, without moving up and down the fretboard, we have all three of those scales available and we can switch from mostly chord tones to uh, mostly embellishment tones and back and forth. And that allows us to create interesting movement in our solo ideals or even our rhythm ideals. So we might play something like this. And that is just deciding where you want tension, moving to that B minor, and then flowing right back into the major pentatonic or that C sharp minor pentatonic. All right, lots of ideals can come from that. Have a little fun and see what you can come up with yourself.